This is the Zupora wireless weather station. Let's take it out of the box. So in the box you get a wireless transmitter and the unit itself. This takes three AAA batteries, this takes two. I'm going to put batteries in and I'm going to place this outside in the sun so that way we should see a marked difference. Incidentally this is wall mountable or can be on a tabletop and for that we just have to open the battery compartment here and in there you're going to find this little stand and that is going to screw in over here like that and then that way it'll stand up. The wireless transmitter did not go through my bombshell of a basement where I can't receive anything and I just totally forgot that. So I brought it back in after leaving it uh, out in the sun for about five minutes or so. You can see the humidity is LL for lower than it can read and it reads 90.8 degrees. I'm going to go stick this in the fridge now and see if that will give us anything that way. We should see at least that 90 drop down. Meanwhile, I'll show you the rest of the features on here. You can see that it shows you what the weather is like as far as the current conditions outside based on the temperature and humidity. There's a backlight function. You press the button on top and it lights up really nice. You can see it a lot better like that. There is no way to leave the backlight on. It stays on for, oh, 10 seconds or so and then eventually will go out. And you can see it reads the indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity. Also has the time and date down here and you do also set the year with that so it'll be able to automatically adjust for leap year. And to set it there are three buttons here and they're touch buttons. First of all uh, if you wanted to do Celsius or Fahrenheit we can just touch that and you can see how it changes right there between that just when you change it. This now the indoor one has gone down to 84 degrees. The temperature and humidity on here updates once every 60 seconds. And that wireless transmitter you can buy additional ones and have up to three of them. And you can select with the channel button here if you look very closely there it says channel 1 right there and if I go and change that you should see it change to channel 2 and channel 3 and then it puts a mark over it there with that circle with the arrow which means it will cycle through them and as you can see the display comes up for the one transmitter I have then it'll go to 2 and then 3 and then ultimately back to one and then you press it again it'll turn that off. This also will store the maximum and minimum temperatures and humidity levels so you can always refer back to that as well and of course this display will change depending on the current conditions and you can see right here that that's dropped down. Let me leave this for a little bit and uh, we'll see what that comes down to. So it's been a while since I last checked in with this and you can see the outdoor one which is in the fridge actually in the freezer is 17 degrees so that freezer is working pretty well um, and the indoor temperature is right there so certainly you can place that sensor anywhere that you'd like to get your outdoor temperatures and you can even add sensors to it really great with the backlight there is no way like I said for the backlight to stay on of course because this runs purely on battery and as such the uh, you know that would drain the batteries quickly but otherwise a nice set weather station from Zupora if you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon thanks for watching Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.